Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of the project is Automated Deep Convolutional Neural Network Long Short Term Memory Architecture Designed for Solar Irradiance Forecasting. And the abstract of the project is Accurate Prediction of Solar Energy is an important issue for photovoltaic power plants to enable early participation in energy action in the streets and cost effective resource planning. Solar radiation estimate, estimation determines how much energy the sun provides to a particular region. This radiation is the primary energy source of conversion in photovoltaic plants and solar thermal power plants. The incident radiation is not constant and depends on climate data, which results in an intermittency in its behavior and changes in the production of electrical energy are observed. This justifies the development of a tool for predicting and estimating incident radiations in order to force force changes in the performance of photovoltaic generation systems in this process we propose the machine learning algorithms like linear regression and support data regression algorithm are implemented and forecast the solar irradiant data set by predicting the global horizontal irradiance the machine learning techniques is analysis the solar in Radiance data set and generate the forecasted results like mean square error, root mean square error, and mean absolute error. And the flow diagram of the project is first we need to start the program and select the solar irradiance data set. Then we use the sample data set in our console working directory. After that, we are going to check the information and description about the data set. Then it will update into data preprocessing. In data preprocessing, we are going to check the missing values from our data set. After checking the missing values, we are going to select the independent variable and dependent variable based on our data set. After that, it will update into model selection or feature selection. In that, we are going to split our data set into training data set and testing data set. After splitting, it will update into regression model. In regression, we are going to forecast the data set by using these algorithms like linear regression, support vector regression, and convolutional neural network long short term memory algorithm. And finally, Estimate the performance result based on mean square error, mean absolute error, root mean square error. The program was successfully executed in Anaconda Navigator Spider IDE. So these are all the result of our program. So in here we are using solar irradiance data set. From the data set we are going to predict the global horizontal irradiance from the solar. So this is the sample output of our input data. So after that I have to check the information about the every columns contains from our data set. So that data types of every columns like I consider as integer and float values. So after that I have to check the description about our data set. In that I am going to check the count value, mean value, standard value, minimum to maximum value that contains every columns in our data set. So after that it will apply it into data preprocessing. This is our second module that I am going to check the missing values. So in here there is no missing values in our data set and I am going to remove the unwanted columns from our data set. So the unwanted column is the unnamed column. So after that I have to visualize the GHI that means global horizontal irradiance column and temperature based on the date and time. So after that I am going to apply the standard scalar. So in that I am going to normalize our data set and then I am going to choose the independent variable and dependent variable then split the data set into training data set and testing data set. This is the independent variable train data set and independent variable test data set and this is dependent variable train data set and this is dependent variable test data set. After splitting it will apply into classification. In classification we are using deep learning and machine learning algorithm. So the LSTM algorithm is the existing algorithm of our process. So the LSTM algorithm which is provide the metric results like mean square error, root mean square error and mean absolute error. The mean square error is 126,867. So on the root mean square error is 356 and mean absolute error is 200. So our second algorithm, second proposed algorithm is linear regression algorithm. So linear regression algorithm MSE score is 7,970 which is reduced from the existing work and the linear regression mean absolute error is 55 and linear regression root mean square error is 89. So our final algorithm is support vector regression algorithm. So the support vector regression algorithm which is also minimize the error values that the mean 
mean square error is 6404 and mean absolute error is 35 and root mean square error is 80. So these are all the variable results that we are obtained from our program.